to jump up uh, with Nair or something. So they're always looking for a jump option or whatever. So it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Ivysaur's a fun character. Um, but yeah, so is Zelda, too. It was a great set. I yeah. definitely enjoyed watching that. It was a good first set to start off on, for sure. Definitely. And we'll have more sets to be had here as Keither and Mega Ami um I can't even say the name right. Mega MOBA. Mega Mo Mo yeah. Mega Moiba. Mega Moiba. I was Mo like, Mega Moiba. Mega Mo Moiba. <laughs> I'm sorry for <laughs> totally butchering the name. Yeah. Uh, I maybe mean, just call Mega for right now. Mega for sure. We have Mega Christmas from the Melee community. Also, we rock out the Incineroar. We still have been dubs. Um, this pool does contain players such as Elegant, Miho, a fellow caster of ours. Oh, there we go. In this pool as well. So we'll hopefully see that more happen. But let's see how Rick is going to handle the deity. Oh, yeah, this actually looks like a pretty difficult matchup. DDD um, is just going to be able to throw out his Gordo uh, constantly. I mean, obviously, they both have projectiles and stuff, but it's going to be a little tricky, too, once uh, DDD not only gets, a, gets him off stage, Gordo is going to be a huge utility uh, tool option for him to just keep on throwing out. And uh, for him, yeah, Ooh. absorbing, I was just about to say, absorbing um, the little. The actual, like, all the cross, the holy yeah, water. Yeah, the holy water. That's exactly what I was going to say. I don't know why I, I brain farted on that one. I used to call it the arc fire because it has the same property, essentially. Mm, yeah, pretty much. This character feels like the new Robin. <laughs> I almost always want to say holy water, but it's fire, and I'm just, like, waiting on that. But, yeah, this is uh, actually pretty even right now. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, definitely Simon's just keeping him out with the projectiles, which we're looking for. Um, yeah, that... That has super armor, so that is not even effective. But yeah. Nice. Good Holy point. fire into the yeah, the F smash is gonna take it, which is always gets the heavies too. You know. Yeah. Such a big hurt box. All the Belmonts have a really good matchup spread. They have they do really really well against the heavies. Able to keep them out, stop some of the shenanigans. They're really easy to hit. The one thing Ooh. that DDD that I do like the Keeper is really doing is making sure he's using the inhale at the long range because he can inhale one of the actual items that he's tossing out and then revert it back. Yeah, the cut can suck. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, that's something he's going to utilize a lot in this matchup. But wow, that Holy Fire doing a lot of free damage for him and already at 80% here. Um, Keither, that's how he's pronounced yeah. his name. Yeah, definitely looks like he's struggling a little bit with the projectiles. I yeah. haven't seen him um, hold shield too much. He's kind of jumping a lot as well, keeping himself a little open. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Simon's doing a really good job just keeping him out, holding stage, holding neutral, and just spamming these projectiles. Yeah. do. And good stall from Keither to actually just make sure, I'm sorry for Mega Amoeba because he knew he was going to get that actual <laughs> Holy Water into Forward Smash. That's a classic percent there and you get it more. Usually it kills at the ledge at early percents as well. Yeah, and, and what's so tricky about that too with the Holy Fire is like on the ledge there when he's ledge trapping is that he's wanting to bait a jump because yeah. if you're going to roll up or get up, it, it, it's he's basically covering all the options. So it actually does look a little tricky and it does severely limit um, Mega's, excuse me, Keither's options to get onto the stage. So yeah. in general, he just wants to avoid getting off the stage at all costs. Here nice landing there. That's one of those things you have to be careful because landing there can set potential combos as Ooh. well. The one thing that you mentioned earlier, right? He likes to have holy water out there, and it kind of covers the ground. It's that he covers all the jumps with axe. If, mm -hmm. if every time Keither wants to go for a jump, there's an axe in place. So he has to be careful when he chooses his opportunity to make the yeah, escape. Yeah, right there. And unfortunately, that was the wrong time to make the choice there. Critical hit, not gonna, not gonna be it though. He's, he is a heavyweight. Oh Ooh. my gosh, a throw. Forward, forward, and I like the attempt there, but he missed it. Yeah, the it's time. critical for Keither to get these offstage um, edge guards. That's what he, he needs to do on Simon because we we know his recovery is no. pretty doo doo. So yeah, he has to take advantage of getting um, Mega off stage here if he wants to take this peg. I do like the fact he didn't have Holy Water. Instead, he wanted to go for a fadeaway forward and catch him on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gordo actually having a hard time getting in even with all these projectiles, <laughs> even reflecting some of them back to him. So Trying to go for the Nair to the up Ooh, B, but... Range. <laughs> It what? is quite ridiculous. That's one of the things that Rick is ex uh, the Belmonts explain, uh, excel at is the mid-range game. They're able to control a lot of the mid-range game, force your opponent to hold shield, force them to be scared of jump for aerials because, of course, one of the things the Belmonts do struggle in, and even in their own game, mm -hmm. is close-range combat. Yeah. 
definitely they want to keep you out. They're going to space you out with their tool set. And uh, yeah, Simons don't want to be off stage and they don't want you being close to them in their face. Exactly. If you're an aficionado of, you know, the FGC and you love games like Street Fighter, think of the Belmonts very similar to Dalsim, where they have a lot of good disjoints, a lot of good range, but they struggle so up close and they only have so much options to escape the close range combat. I like that you're connecting that. Yeah, you definitely have such versatile commentary, which I love hearing. And um, it's, it's just so unique. Um, but yeah, we're going back. We have Pokemon Stadium now. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was like, I was gonna say something, but I thought it was. I was it's hard. Say. It's hard to say a lot of things here because the way that he was playing, he's kind of back to how it was last game. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to say because he's still feeling the wrath of the Belmonts. Good up B to understand. You know what? I got crossed up. Let me go ahead and get him out of here. Yeah, he's struggling. Uh, I mean, a lot of because of Simon's options in this tool set, I feel like it's really keeping uh, Keith out from getting those grabs as yeah. well. Um, and yeah, for the Gordo connecting, a lot of those projectiles are just spinning it right back to the Gordo. And I feel like Keither's having just a hard time approaching, figuring out his best options here. Yeah. The one thing that I do still want to... Like, he shouldn't have let him go back on the stage. Exactly. I do like that sometimes he takes time to play out the Gordo a little bit here. The problem is that a yeah. lot of the Belmont's projectiles reflect the Gordo back. So you have to pick the, the right okay. time to throw out Gordo. I like that he actually tried the dash attack there. Oh, okay. That was actually really good down smash. I like seeing that. Um, that is terrifying and it kills so early. <laughs> that was great. Nice. Holy water. I do like the fact that he's trying to make sure he's setting up those back airs. The reason why they're so good is because you're able to fade away. Back air has such a low cooldown that you're able to just go ahead and put it out there. Yeah, Keith is actually doing a, a better job right now and calling out that jump right there with the forward air. I'm doing a better job at uh, ledge guarding too with these Gordos and just um, catching his jump options as well. Mm -hmm. Which is what we weren't seeing him before. We weren't seeing him get those proper uh, ledge guards last game. So this is Oof. definitely looking a lot better for Keither here. Okay. I Shielding <laughs> as well. The one thing Keither did game one that he's not really doing here a lot as possible. Oh. Watch yourself on that oh. one. A lot of cooldown, <laughs> but great threat. Um, he's not going for the inhale. Sometimes when you see Belmonts go for the projectiles, like I said, in the long range, inhale might actually do work. I okay, like that F tilt. Actually comes up pretty fast. Hitting him with the Gorda there, not enough to kill. So let's see if he can keep him off stage. Oh, okay. He was going for the right idea with the jab. Mm -hmm. But it looks like he actually kind of fell out of the last hit there. Ooh. Nice. He went for that forward smash. Unfortunately, it's so slow to go for. Really laggy. Mm -hmm. And that allowed Mega to actually go for the roll. Okay, I do like it, using those back airs. It is able to position your hurt box away because you have such a good disjoint. Okay. Unfortunately, not going to be able to survive that Gordo and throw it back. Keeper. <laughs> little dick. Yeah, he's definitely playing, playing us a lot better. There he goes with the cuck and suck again. Holding shield a lot more and not really approaching as well. Last game, he was super aggro, actually. He was trying to chase him down, get in his space, like mm -hmm. you were saying, Belmont's like, keep you out. But now he's actually playing the patient game. He's like, all right, like I'll just wait for you to throw out a projectile. I'll throw out mine. Like I'll hold shield. He's being a lot more patient, and uh, that's great adapt that we're seeing here. Yeah. Take it slow. You have to, you need time to analyze how you're going to fight the Belmont. Critical hit, but you still survive that one. Holy Water for forward smash. Yeah. That'll do it. Mega with a little sigh of relief. He's got 68%, man. If he's going to do anything, it's to play calm because he knows if Diddy gets you off the stage, he can't take care of you pretty early. Diddy is just a big hitbox, too, so it's like that's such a good option uh, for Keither to throw out here. Yeah, it's good for, it's good for, okay, whoa. Yeah, when did the name swap? I was yeah. like, wait, Mega. Mega's the Simon, right? All right, well, it looks like Keith is the one in the victory seat here because we, we got the wrong info. But hey, man, we, t we take those and we adjust because so far the players have adjusted as well because Mega has definitely brought this back to seem like he's the one in the victory. All right, yeah, that is going to take it here. I'm telling you, man. We thought we thought Mega was the one winning originally, but looks like he is still winning. Able to clutch that out over Keith here. So Mega is the Simon, right? No, Mega is actually going to be the one who's the DDD. Oh, he said DDD. Yeah. Okay, okay. That was a little switcher. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, As you know what, though? Mega's happened. still winning. Mega's still winning. Yeah. Mega's still winning. We're good. We're good. We still, we still in this? <laughs> yeah, we're still in this. Well, the point is, they both have one now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is 1 1. We're going to have a uh, game three here coming up. Let's see if we do get a counter stage pick. If not, looks like we're going back to Pokemon Stadium here. Looks like they both were a little more comfortable on this stage. It's definitely classic uh, a neutral stage that everyone kind of likes to play on. So 
Let's see. Let's see what happens. Both yeah. players are adapting and getting tricky. Oh my god, hot water. So refreshing. Uh, that's the best thing about this menu, free water. Honestly, free, free water, water is we're free approaching wifi well. free Wi-Fi, free water, we're approaching the summer. And keep yourself hydrated, especially because that's one of those things that allow us to oh. survive. This tournament has air too. I remember all the old MSM venues, no oh. air conditioning. Everyone was all hot and sweaty. Like, yeah, this is definitely a great venue. It's fantastic. Feeling good. And hopefully, Mega Amiibo feels good after that last game because he's yeah. now one up here, but so far keeps going back to the game that got him here. Yeah. Trying to bring in a cool strange, but I mentioned Belmont's struggle at that. That was like off awkward uh, F tilt action. It only did like 8%. He like mm -hmm. fell out of it. Again, that was like a little interesting. I do like that he did an aerial forward air, but a forward air, but the problem was like you kind of just couldn't afford to put it in the same thing. Or you could have gone holy water to forward smash with how much high percent he is at, especially after that little drag down there wow. yet again. That was pretty clean. There he goes. Yeah, we tuck and suck, but uh, Keeper definitely knows what he's wanting, so he's just going to try and space him out with the back air because that uh, metal chain whip definitely has a lot of range. Yeah. See, so the chain whip is actually uh, referred to as two names. As of the anime, it is known as the Morning Star. But people Morning call Star, it. yeah. But people do tend to call it the Vampire Killer. It is the weapon of the Belmont's choice to defeat Dracula. And the only weapon that can defeat Dracula. But Laura set aside here. So far, we are seeing Keith just trying to make sure he defeats a penguin and not a vampire. And <laughs> Did you see able the Netflix it. series? Oh, it was great. It was so great. I loved it. It's fantastic. I, I call it the chain whip because, like, I don't know, it's like, what it looks like, it's like what it is, but I should call it like the Morning Star or something, because it sounds way cooler. Yeah, Morning Wrong Star, Vampire it. Killer. This this weapon has had such a history in Smash in general. Uh, Sheik in Melee used to have her own little whip, and the way she would dangle around was very reminiscent of the oh, Belmonts. Oh yeah, she would do that little swing type mm -hmm. of thing. And then uh, ZSS had a, a very Belmont-esque Zare back in Smash 4, and even in Brawl. So now that the Belmonts are finally in the game, everyone is here, and Belmont is able to participate in his own moves, and he's doing a really good job of making sure that Mega is in the corner, and he has to use two down yeah. Just he's keeping him out so well right now, actually. And he's just creating this wall, this barrier that exactly. is, Mega can't get into right now. He's really struggling to figure a way in. And this actually looks pretty difficult. He's really spacing and timing these projectiles really well. And that's really important. Uh, it's all about the spacing with Belmont yeah. as well. And that's one thing that I mentioned earlier that DDD is able to just force Belmont to start playing the mid-range over the long range is the fact that he can inhale the projectiles. And that yeah. kind of shuts them down a little bit. So that kind of forces Belmont to stay a little bit closer to what DDD would like it. That acts uh, while he's on the stage too. And um, when Mega's off stage, looks super scary too. It's pretty much connected almost every time he's been off stage. And it's scary. Yeah. Here we go with the FB again. That's one thing that I want Mega to adjust. Hopefully he'll have time. But unfortunately, we're going for an aerial play like the drag down there yet again. This time, Mega was able to punish, and I wanted to see Mega punish that. Yeah, no follow-up after the dash attack there. Again. Nice. The cross will set you free here. All right. Backer's going to take it again. That range. Okay. That air dodge was almost a little scary there, but it ended up working out in his favor. Okay, yeah, wow, that was actually... The thing about the forward smash, too, is that its hitbox is actually a little bit disjointed on the sides, so you have to watch yeah. out for the recovery there. He went for the neutral getup. I would have loved to have seen the jump getup just to cover that angle for angle forward. It was kind of like the tip of his hammer there that yeah. was able to connect that last hit. Um, and you said that has like a tipper, or not a tipper, excuse me, a disjoint yeah. on the edge of it. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. that's, and that's what it caught Simon off guard here. Yeah. Definitely well, this could be forward smash, and it is... Wow. All right, well, that was enough to take it. Uh, Keither, right? The Simon. Yeah. Simon, of course, Simon, the first, uh, not the first Belmont, but uh, the, the main 